Hey, it's Candace, and in today's Quick Books Tips and Tricks, I'm going to teach you how do you set up classes, and if you already have classes set up, how do you go in and pull a report based off just one class at a time? So this question came in from a rental property management company, and they want to be able to give their owners a report by class each month. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure you have set up is under Edit, Preferences, under Accounting, under company preferences, you're going to want to make sure you have class tracking on and that you prompt class tracking. I'm going to click OK. Then under lists, so when you're inside the list, you'll see all of the different properties or categories you've created by class, so each different class. So whenever you have rentals, I always recommend having a class called business or if you have different categories of types of locations within your business or departments, you can create classes. So the benefit of classes, I'll show you when you go into reports, company and financial, profit and loss by class, what it does is it allows you to have columns. So you can do this for rental properties, you can do this by departments, whatever way you need to separate to look. So you can also do if you have your QuickBooks as one file and you track your personal and your business, you could actually create two classes to separate them so that if all you want to be able to see is just each individual rental property, you go, let me show you what I did, customize reports, filters, classes, and you choose which class you want to show up. So if you wanted it to be one, two, three, four Main Street, and that's all that's showing up, you would choose that. Then I recommend under your header and footer, go back in and change it to say instead of by class, profit and loss, and you can say one, two, three, four Main Street if you want. So that way when you memorize the report, you can also memorize it by time frame. So if you just want the whole year, a certain month, whatever it is. So that way when you memorize this, you can do it by date and by title. All right, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is if you wanna memorize it so it's easy to pull that report up each time, you can choose to say that under a particular group or just to your generalized memorized reports, you click okay. Now when you go over to reports, memorized reports, you will have one, two, three, four Main Street. And every time you pull that up, and then if you want, you can always change it over here by this month and it will give you this month. And then you can email it to your clients or print it, or if it's for your accountant, you can change it there as well. Then you can go in, back in, change your class to say business, click OK, and then you'll have just your business, and you can do it by month or year, this year to date, that kind of stuff, OK? Memorize that as well. I hope this tip has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Or if you just want to take my online course, check out confidencewithquickbooks.com. Have an amazing day. See you guys soon. Bye.